Now, the eviction moratorium isn't the only challenge that tenants are facing. Some are actually experiencing the bitter cold without any heat. Reports of landlords shutting off utilities are becoming more common in New York State, but what are they doing? Is it legal? Our 18 News reporter Tara Lynch joining us now live in downtown Elmira with some answers tonight. Good evening, Tara. Zach, good evening. It is very cold out here. We have got an unofficial reading about 13 degrees. The wind chill not accounted in that temperature, but many people out there might be wondering with the eviction moratorium ending, will tenants be left out in the cold? Our legal experts say evictions, well, they're just not that simple. I got my water turned off. Many tenants have said this phrase in the past, indicating that they might be late on a rental payment. But is turning off utilities actually legal? Uh, the law looks at things like turning off the utilities as sort of like a self-help eviction, um, which is not permitted under the civil law. Under criminal law, an unlawful eviction could result in a Class A misdemeanor. Landlords cannot forcibly evict a person by turning off their utilities. If a person was in the situation where the landlord purposely and intentionally cut off their utilities, one of their remedies is to call the police and say, hey, can you investigate if this was a part of an unlawful eviction. However, because of the eviction moratorium, a source told 18 News some landlords are having to go to the extreme in order to get months of back rent payment because property owners feel they're being treated unfairly by the state. While weather conditions are not written into the law, they can be a factor in an eviction case. It doesn't matter to the law what the weather is outside, but I will say that, um, you know, certainly within the discretion of law enforcement or even with the discretion of a judge for determining, you know, if charges have been brought appropriately for unlawful eviction. Ultimately, it is unlawful to leave tenants in the cold, but area landlords are struggling too, going on three years now. Several assistance programs set up to help tenants pay landlords have no money left, like the Emergency Rental Assistance Fund. While the portal will open again tonight, there is no money to hand out right now by the state. Yeah, attorney Anna Zarfels reminded me there could also be resources at the local level that people could apply for. Now the money could go towards things like rent or even utilities, so nobody is left out in the cold this winter. For now, live in downtown Elmira, Terra Lynch, 18 News, Zach and Rhea, back to you.